When asked the question, what is my favorite skyscraper, you often find myself wavering between the US Bank Tower in Los Angeles or St. Mary's Ax, otherwise more commonly known as the Birkenas and answer to the question. But favoritism aside, would you believe me if I told you that the infamous Irish Republican Army had a great part to play in the construction of this great marvel of design and engineering that has changed London's skyline indefinitely? First of all we must go back to 1903 when the Baltic Exchange building was completed as part of Edward Young England's key financial district. It encouraged foreign trade benefiting the UK economically right up until 1992, when the building was tragically destroyed in a terrorist explosion carried out by the IRA. They had planted explosives in Afan outside of the exchange and detonated them, collapsing the front facade and smashing windows of nearby offices. Understandably this caused a great amount of distress and disruption for what was at the time, the beating heart of Britain's financial industry. As a result of the attack, not only did dry people debut also, there was now a building-sized hole in the City of London that needed to be filled and as much as I'd want to bore you with London building and planning requirements, quality land in Zoho Place is definitely not something that investors usually pass up on. In the late 1990s, the first designs emerged with the intent of replacing the now decimated Baltic Exchange. One Zoop design was the Millennium Tower that would be completed in the year 2000, hence it's now. Designed by Foster and Partners, the tower would have measured at 386 meters and would have at the time, been the sixth tallest building in the world. However the design failed to planning and logistical issues. However not I was lost because another design by Norman Foster was shorter at just 180 meters but featured a far more popular and unique design and shape. This building would be initially known as St. Mary's Axe but would later be nicknamed the Gherkin due to its rounded bullet shape. Interestingly the tower actually featured subtle references to the Baltic Exchange and its design. For example, with the tower's topmost panoramic dome, known as the lens that resembles the ground floor pattern of the Baltic Exchange and much of which is now displayed at the National Maritime Museum. The tower was also deliberately designed not to obstruct the view of St. Paul's Cathedral from the rest of London. Today, the Gherkin is a world-renowned global marketplace for shipping freight contracts and soft commodities. It has an international economic importance and is a true standing monument that has redefined the standard of skyscrapers in Europe. Thank you for watching today's video. This took a little longer to produce due to limited factual resources available on this subject so we apologize for the extended wait. I look forward to my next upload of which you will see relatively soon. Until then I wish you all a great day and I'll see you in the next one.